So I'm doing a series called Bite Size Base Hacks. And essentially, these are base hacks that I use all the time on my own equipment. I've done other videos on them and I've touched on them, uh, but these are things that are almost always relevant. And so this one is on distance settings. Now, generally you wanna run auto correction uh, for your room. Uh, you wanna keep everything kind of close and tight together. You don't wanna take your measurements on room correction more than two feet apart, okay? Um, but essentially, what's gonna happen is say Odyssey, it's going to set your distances for all of your speakers, including your subwoofers. And the subwoofer distance setting, mine happens to be 11.7. Uh, and so what I do is I change that distance from 11.7 to 15.7. That works out really well for me in my room. Now what's going to work out well for your room is really dependent on your room and your equipment. Uh, and it can matter whether you're using dual subwoofers or a single subwoofer. I'm a big proponent of using dual subwoofers. I think it's the only way to go. Uh, but essentially what you're doing is you're adjusting the timing and so what happens is you got your main speakers that put out bass signal because they still get signal all the way down to 20 hertz even when you do a crossover like 80 hertz uh, they still get signal no matter what uh, but what happens is that signal comes out at the same time as this signal which on paper looks great but it causes cancellations so what you're doing by increasing the distance of your subwoofers is you're kind of varying that timing so you get less cancellation and I also want to point out that this can be overdone. I've overdone it myself, uh, and it really kind of, I don't know, it messed with my ears a little bit. But if you keep it somewhere between one foot and four foot, in addition to the room correction setting, it, it should be good. Uh, always trust your ears. If it's better just the way room correction sets it, then leave it there. But you can adjust that distance settings and just kind of play with it and see what sounds best to you. It's best to use actual uh, room EQ wizard and measure the room and see what the best situation is there. But even then, even if you get a better looking graph, you always wanna go with what sounds best to your ears. But that's essentially what the distance hack is. Uh, it can really, really open up uh, the bass and, and get you hearing more of the bass. And it's another issue too, that running dual subwoofers is a great way to go. Uh, but you can get cancellations, you know, around the 70 to 80 hertz range, uh, and this kind of reduces that. And I've done videos that point that out as well. Uh, but that, that's essentially the distance hack. Uh, again, follow along this whole series. I'm doing these short videos that just go into each little trick I use to get the most out of the system in my house. And so hopefully you'll be able to follow all these little tricks I have and get the most out of your own sound. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what was the best distance for you, uh, your setup, kind of how things go. And let me know if this has worked for you or not. Some people may not notice it, but for me, I have noticed it, I measured it. And again, for some weird reason, for me, four feet just seems to work. It might be three feet for you. It might be two and a half feet. You know, you can also adjust the, uh, the setting as far as whether it's going to be a one foot or one tenth of a foot adjustment. And that really helps you really dial it in. So you can check that out as well. But again, follow along with this whole series. I'm gonna try and make these quick and easy uh, and explain them a little bit and then just go on to the next one. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.